You're on. Awesome. Great. Okay. Welcome everybody to our third Results Academy. I hope you've been enjoying um, the ones that we've had on so far. I'm really loving this because we're getting up close and personal with people and seeing how they've achieved their results because they've all been right where you have been. Um, wondering if this is going to work and, you know, all the struggles that you go through. So um, we're going to get into tonight's call. I'm a bit excited. Okay, so the whole idea of these results academies is to help you um, sift through all the information us coaches are giving you. So we had Wellness Wednesday last night and an awful lot of information is shared during Wellness Wednesday. So um, we understand as coaches that that can be very overwhelming. So please, please reach out to us and ask us any questions. Tonight, if you've got any questions, we should have time at the end. If you need to ask Paul a question, you most certainly can. We'll try and make time for that. Um, but really, this is just to help um, give you confidence that you have made the right decision. Um, and these products are going to help you achieve your results if you stick to it, be consistent and um, listen to us coaches. So... Tonight, I would like to welcome a very good friend of mine, Paul, from Victoria, in uh, Melbourne in Victoria. And um, Paul works full-time in construction. He's a dad of three. He's also a grandfather. Um, so we'll hear from him on how he got started. And uh, he lost an incredible 25 kilos and has been able to keep that off. So, Paul, welcome. Thank you for having me, Matt. It's Great good, to be on. Good to have you here. <laughs> All right, so we'll go to this one. So I'll let you talk, Paul, and you tell me to flip through when you're ready to go. So yeah, no worries. That, that was um, those photos. I know they're pretty gross. That was a couple of years ago now, two and a half years ago, and that was the heaviest I'd ever been, 110 kilos, and just felt so uncomfortable. Like I've always been pretty healthy and fit. When I was younger, played a hell of a lot of sport, a lot of cricket, football. Uh, instructed karate five nights a week and snow skiing and everything but then had children or became more of a taxi than a playing sport so going to kids sports and things like that so weren't really doing all the exercise that I should have been doing started putting on a couple of kilos um, always been in construction so at that stage I was a, a building supervisor which meant sitting in a car um, the easiest way to get something to eat was just go past Macca's or go past the drive through So not getting a hell of a lot of exercise and ended up at 110 kilos. So as Nat's got there, feeling very lethargic, putting on the weight. Used to get a fair bit of heartburn as well. Like if I'd be uh, a word partial to a red wine or a bourbon and coke or scotch, and you do get a bit of reflux from that. And that was, yeah, just crap. So I was a quick ease king and the Melanta king for a while there and suffering some old sports injuries, like broke my ankle a few times, motorbike riding, and did, as I said, did a lot of karate, so I had a lot of broken um, fingers and toes from karate, so just catching up on me in the olden days. So come a cold morning, it'd take me about half an hour to be able to walk properly. I'd be walking like a 90-year-old man instead of a bloody 45 or 50-year-old man then, so yeah, it was just not good, so just needed to do something. What's yeah, here we go. Coffee when I woke up in the morning. That's how I pretty much started the day. I'd get out of bed in the morning and I'd have a coffee. I'm oh, sorry, I'd have a shower first, then I'd have a coffee. Then I'd go to work. On the way to work, I would grab another coffee at Macca's and, and a breakfast wrap or some crappy thing like that, a ham cheese pocket or something. Then I'd go to work. Wouldn't have any smoke, eh? but if I did, one of the boys, because I were on site, one of the guys would just whip down and get a sausage roll or something like that and another coffee. Then I'd be driving around and during, I wouldn't have any lunch, just wouldn't have time to have lunch, but I'd go past, get another coffee. So coffee was my best friend, unfortunately, and I would probably have five, six coffees. And that was sort of just until after lunch. So it was just not healthy at all, skipping my lunch. Then by the time I would get home, I would um, pretty much might have a couple of beers, eat some crap, then have a big dinner, then have another coffee after that or even another beer. And it was just getting worse and worse and worse, to be honest. It just kept feeling really crap and 
like I've never had big legs, big butt or anything like that, but it was just my gut pretty much. And got to the stage where, where if I'd have to sit on the bed to put my socks on and I'd have to sort of breathe in, hold my breath, put my socks on because I was bending over and I couldn't really breathe properly to be honest. And that is not a good thing. And hopefully nobody is in the situation here, but if you are, you know that we can help you do it. So it, yeah, it's just not a great feeling when you've got to do that. So as I said, no exercise for the last probably, I would say realistically probably the last 10 years before I started Herbalife, no exercise, which is pretty sad. Um, that was when I sort of first started on there. Um, but now I'm weighing 85 kilos. So feeling amazing. I've lost 137 centimetres in total. So that's like over my arms, my gut, everywhere. Uh, my shirt was um, double XL. Now I'm wearing a size L. Uh, my pant size was 36 to 38. Now I'm wearing a 34 and got to do the belt up on them pretty tight too, to be honest. So 34 is about the size now, but just feel amazing. You can see by the tape measure there where my gut used to be. So yeah, it's just, it's crazy what these products do for you. They just make you feel amazing and look at the results you can get guys. Um, energy, I'm full of energy now, like it's crazy energy too. Like as I said, I'm lethargic, I'd get home, sit on the couch, have a beer. I don't watch TV now, so I do not sit on the couch and watch TV. I've always got to be doing something. Like I get up in the morning, I'm only about 50 metres from the beach, get up in the morning, go for a walk along the beach, walk down to the shops, come back again, do a bit of work. Um, then I'll go for another walk when I get home again at night. So if I'm, if I'm going to go out on site or somewhere, I'll go for another walk on the beach or I'll go for a walk putting pamphlets out or brochures or anything like that. But there's no way I'm just going to sit down and waste the night away because I've just got that much energy to burn now. And so I'll always be doing some exercising or doing something fantastic. So doing a bit of bike riding. So I don't know if that's got any slides about that. Yeah, I've yeah, got that coming up soon. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. So I'll, but I do do a little bit of bike riding for exercise and that's to burn a bit of energy as well. So it's, it's always good. Always trying to do some clean eating. I'm trying to be really good with that. Like I'm coaching quite a few different challenges at the moment. So I've got to be the, I've got to lead by example as well. So I do have to eat clean. Um, we, we all, occasionally we will all go and have a beer or we might have a bit of pizza or something. But the main thing is you just got to try to do it in moderation, guys. And if you do have a bad day, which we all do, we're all human, next day, jump straight back onto it again and just, that's one of the great things about this. You can just press the button, restart, and just keep going again. So it's not like we're on a diet. We have to do this. You know, it's just, it is a lifestyle change. And you do get rid of all the old crappy habits that we've all had. Replace them with new habits. And all of a start, sudden, you start feeling amazing. But it's not saying, right, oh, you're doing Herbalife now. You cannot have a beer. Um, you're doing Herbalife now. You cannot have a bit of pizza. Like... When I say, you know, you cannot have a beer, Herbalife parties are some of the best parties you can ever go to. There's beer flowing, there's wine flowing, but the next day, people will jump straight back on the products again and feel amazing. So that's one great thing about this. There's no saying, do not have this, do not have that. You know, it's just in moderation, guys. You've just got to be smart about it all. Paul, can I just interrupt and ask you, what yeah. do you reckon from your old habits and what your coach was telling you you needed to do, what did you find the hardest to change? Was it your water intake or just? 100% water. Drinking yeah. water. Yeah, 100%. I never used to drink any water. Like, if I, the only water I got was ice that was in my bourbon. So that's the only water I ever had. But now, like, I'm pumping down, honestly, around uh, four to five litres of water a day. And when I first started doing that, Oh, you know, like I'm peeing, peeing like a racehorse. You have to stop every Hello. five minutes in the in the car to go to the toilet, and that's something that your body does get used to. And that's that was the hardest thing that I found having so much water. But now that I'm coaching people as well, I fully understand why you have to have the water, and it's just all part of the cleansing and getting rid of everything. And yeah, you're just pumping the water down is essential. So. I'm sure you guys have already been told, but they, they think you should have about a litre per every 25 kilos that you weigh. And if you're doing some exercise, throw in another litre as well. So it is not going to hurt you one little bit. And a lot of people who suffer from headaches, um, back aches and that, a bit of dizziness, 
you'll see the difference when you do pump in the water. It just eliminates that. So it's an essential thing, especially up where you guys all live with the with the heat up there. You know, yeah. you'd be sweating it out all the time. So whatever goes out, you've got to put back in again as well. Exactly. Yeah. So um, you said to me that you got when you got started, you just started on the ultimate program. So you were like, okay, I'm gonna gonna do this. I'm gonna go all in and gonna go hard. Yeah. Yep. I, I started on a was a I think it was a 21 day uh, a 21 day belly buster challenge, which was with the boom juice. So I jumped onto that and I thought, right, if I'm going to jump onto that, I might as well get all the products. So I jumped on that and in, in the 21 days, I think I was something like 13 kilos, something crazy like that. So, and that was just the ultimate program. So I thought, I might as well try everything. There's no point sort of dipping your toe in, I thought. So have a crack at it. And yeah, just using all the products. And I'm even using the skin range now. I've only just started using it. But you're not going to see me up there posting mint masks and things like that. Come on. Oh, I've done it a few times. But, um, yeah, but I do use it. I'm, I'm a secret skin product user. Don't be secret. Come out of the closet. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I, I actually do love it. Like, you do feel better. Your skin feels better. And I've seen some of the amazing skin results. So I don't know why I haven't been using this for three years, to be honest. Yep. So it's great. So I yeah. think it's that... Um, that old mindset with you fellas you think the skin's just for the ladies but it really is great well so it's the biggest organ in our body so <laughs> why not look after it exactly now because you're down in melbourne you get to hang with superstars like kuda um, I do. yeah i get to hang with kuda a bit actually so quite often we'll do a few calls together as well so which is fantastic so we've got a little bit of a, a men's thing going down here called um the tribe so a few of us will get on and we'll do similar calls to this. So there'll be Kuda, myself, a couple of the guys over in Perth, um, Jared up in Sydney, uh, sorry, up in Albury. So, yeah, it's great hanging around with these guys. They are awesome. They've got a lifestyle centre, which is Malvern Lifestyle Centre. So we go there as well when we're allowed to go there. It's shut at the moment. But, yeah, and it's just great hanging around with these superstars and, they are superstars, but they are just human people exactly like us who have had great results like us doing exactly what we're doing. So they're nothing special in that regard, but yeah, they're just amazing people. And like the community, did you find that when you started Herbalife, a big part of helping keep you on track, being around that community and that, you know, your coaches and everybody helping you and supporting you along the way? 100%, 100%. Like um, when I first started, my coach, was I, I met her during at work. Um, she wasn't, she was a VIP member, so she wasn't really coaching at the time. She had a product on site and I just jumped onto it and thought, yep, yeah, I'll give it a bill, why not? So she wasn't really coaching me. So I sort of was getting more coached by her coach, her upline. And her upline are, are all in Perth. So there wasn't this um, connection with them physically or, you know, actually being with them. It was, everything was online. So it'd be a call online or a phone call, which they were doing quite regularly, but there was none of this sort of personal where you're actually catching up with them somewhere. So that's when we, where we have our STSs once a month. Going to those is just essential to keep you on track. Going there, catching up with everybody, seeing all these amazing results, meeting all the amazing people, telling each other your stories, and then you do it again the next month. But we're lucky to have MLC down here. So we go there Tuesday night, Thursday night, Saturdays. And yeah, you can just do all that catching up with everybody. Yeah. And here, here's the, um, the HNF bike ride, which I'm so fortunate to have been able to do for the last couple of years. And that's for our um, Herbalife Nutrition, for our charity causes that we do. Up, up north we are, it's the um, butterflies. So the sunshine butterflies up there, which is just, absolutely amazing so we ride 865 kilometers on a push bike from Torquay to Adelaide and yeah it's, it's absolutely awesome like this year we did it we raised over ninety thousand dollars which is just ridiculous so we donated a lot of that to the charities but because we've had such hard times um, I think Queensland had a few fires as well but New South Wales and Victoria really suffered so we donated, I think it was about 45000 to the to the bushfires this year as well, which is just fantastic. But we're probably 75% of the people who did the ride don't ride a bike. 
So we purely ride a bike for this cause, and that is it. There's a couple of riders there that do it a lot. They, you know, they ride weekends to work, or they ride to work, they ride every weekend. But as I said, 75% purely train just to do this bike ride, and it's just an amazing cause. It's, you know, you're doing 200 kilometres a day on a bike oh. in 38 degrees heat. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> but it's just, you know, the feeling that you get when you're doing it and knowing this money is going to a great thing. And like a lot of people, you do see things on the media, you know, Herbalife, it's a bloody pyramid scheme, all that sort of crap. But when you actually dig into it, the heart of the company is just unbelievable. Helping people and then doing something like this that a lot of the people out there don't see, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, Paul, I just wanted to touch on, because I think this is pretty amazing. So before you started doing these bike rides, you yep. had made your back surgery. Um, I did, yeah. You were already on products, so at that time, weren't you? Yeah, look, I, I started in the products. That? I started in the products in um, sorry in October, and, and then in, in November I actually did my back. So I did a couple of discs in my neck, so I couldn't do any exercise. So I'd been on the products for one month, could not exercise at all. Couldn't even couldn't even really walk. So I weren't allowed to go to work. Um, I had to wait and for still surgery. still lost weight though. I just want to add that in. You still were losing weight yeah, in exercise. That's what I was yeah. going to say. So for the first, um, it was pretty well, very close to the first 12 months. I could not lose, I could not do any exercise, but I'd lost 24 kilos. And that was doing zero exercise. So I was actually in bed for three months on my back after my surgery. So what they do, they, they cut me through my neck, took a couple of discs out my spine, put um, some fiberglass discs in, and then you're in bed for three months. So it was pretty crappy. You get out of bed for five minutes, back to bed again, five minutes, back to bed again. Um, that was in May, and I was fortunate enough to be able to start training because I'd already committed to the bike ride. So I'd signed up and everything and started training in September. So I had the operation in May, and I started doing very light training in September and we had the bike ride in February of that year. But it was just, just amazing. Like these products, they say they don't cure anything, but man, they certainly help me. <laughs> and they don't cure anything. They, no matter what anyone says, they don't cure it, but they certainly help you, 100% help you. So on those, on those big days, I know this year, you, you guys had ridiculous headwinds that you were riding up against. Yeah. So, you know, typically you'd be so super sore the next day and it was early morning starts and stuff like that. So can you just um, yeah. explain to everybody we're how getting you up, We were getting up every morning at 3.30 in the morning because we had to ride out at 5 o'clock on the dot. We were camping, so we had to pull our tents up and sleeping bags, pack all the cars, be ready to ride out at exactly 5 o'clock. So you do – there was one day we did 200 kilometres – it was 42 degrees and we had a headwind the whole way. So, and, go, and a lot of it was up hills as well. So it was just crazy. Like we had quite a few stops. We'd have, um, we had a crew with us. They would stop every, I think it was about every 40K. So we'd stop and we'd have a shake or we'd have some fruit or we'd have a rebuild with a shake. And they just kept looking after us like that, just kept feeding us the, the, um, the products all the time. The CR7, the hydrate, because it was that hot. Every stop, we'd have to give them our water bottles. We have two water bottles, so that's equivalent to about 600 ml of water. So we had to make sure that we drank that every 30 Ks, and then they'd, they'd fill them up again for us. They'd be checking them just to make sure that we drank it all. And that'd have either CR7 or hydrate in it. So at, at the end of the day, like, as you said, you'd feel sore as, you, you know, like we, had, we were just, everyone was giving each other massages and you were pretty tight. You'd wake up again at 3.30 the next morning, feel amazing again. So the, the products, like if you haven't got faith in the products, do this bike ride, you will have faith in the products, believe me, because they just make you feel unbelievable. Like you get up the next day and you do 180 kilometres again and, and you wouldn't feel sore. Like I used to go to the gym for 20 minutes and I couldn't move the next day. And they, you know, we're riding 200 kilometres and then you feel amazing again. It's just amazing. Really. And to think you had that back surgery, so you're camping, you're not in a comfy bed and you're doing that kind of riding and yeah. you could still move the next day where typically someone who'd had surgery like yourself would yeah. be 
stiff and unable to do that. So I think that is awesome. That's well, if you can see that guy next to me in the blue helmet there, I'm not sure if any of you guys know Duncan. Um, four years ago, Duncan was 220 kilograms. So <laughs> he's in the ride with us the last two years. He's lost 110 kilos. So for somebody who used to sit on a couch and do nothing, has ridden to Adelaide twice now. Yeah. So <laughs> if you don't think the products work, have a look at that. Gives you goosebumps. Oh, it's crazy. It's, it's phenomenal. So, it is. Paul, you didn't start to do Herbalife to do the business. You did it for your health to start with. But um, yeah. I just wanted every, you to share with everyone um, how your life has changed, not only health-wise, and what you've done and how you've decided to um, move forward with Herbalife. Yeah, like, as you said, I started on it. Um, the girl who, my coach, was a single mum. So I said, look, if I can make some money out of it, that means you're going to make some money out of it as well. So I thought, I'll have a crack at the business. And I, I jumped in and I was getting awesome results. And I had a few mates who were also interested because they could see the results. And all of a sudden, the business sort of started happening, which is fantastic. Now, the one on the bottom left there, that is my first shake party I ever had. So it was, you know, a bit of family and their friends and it was just, it was awesome. So that was my first shake party and out of that shake party, I had three people sign up. So getting, starting with the business like that, it's pretty cool. And um, it's simple to do, isn't it? Shake parties so, are so simple to do. Shake parties are so simple to do. Like, yeah. I didn't know anything. I'll be honest with you, I knew nothing. I had a shake party, my coach is there in the black singlet holding a little boy um, she sort of had never done a shake party either. So, and her coach was there as well with the one in the striped shirt. She'd never done a shake party either because they were pretty much just VIPs. So they hadn't done parties. So we sort of bluffed our way through it, but you can't say anything wrong. Whatever you say is going to help and it's, and it's from the heart anyway. So people will either believe it or they don't. You, you're speaking straight from the heart. But all you've got to do is make some shakes. You don't have to put on a, an absolute banquet or anything like that. Put a couple of products out, give them a shake, give them a taste of the tea. And look, we didn't even talk about the business that day. Simple as that. I just said, look, if you're interested in it, shoot us a message in the next couple of days. It was more about just catching up, invite people to it, exactly how you're going to invite people to your barbecue. Hey, look, on Saturday, I'm having something here. If you guys are interested, pop over and we'll have a chat. You know, have a bit of fun, we'll have some music, we'll have a couple of drinks and that. But we had a couple of beers that day. You know, we're only human and we're just making it fun and making it, you know, so people do want to do shake parties and making it so that if you've got a team member that signs up, they can do it as well. So just got to, don't make it too complicated because then if someone goes, right, oh, well, I'm going to have a shake party. I went to Paul's one. Man, there's no way I could run one like that. So I'm not going to run one. Keep it simple, then they can keep it simple. And then their ones can keep it simple. So that's yeah. the best way to do it. Yeah. But the lady in the blue there is my coach now. The one in the middle, which is Michelle Sharp. So she is my coach. She was um, my coach's 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 coach. They sort of dropped out of it. And now Michelle's been mine for a while. But she's been my mentor since I started. And her coach is on the bottom right there, which is Joanna, who has also been my mentor since we started. Um, on the left-hand side where it says Wolf Group, as I said, I'm in construction. Um, chatting to the people there, you know, I've got two of those girls there on products now, so, which is just awesome. They were just girls that they, don't even work, they didn't even work for us. They were just working for um, a contractor. But I was talking to them and now they're on products. One of them's been on products for two days. So, yeah, it's just a matter of talking to people. It's that simple. Uh, the second one on the right there is... Dana Ryan, who was over here doing a wellness tour. So I caught up with Dana, which was just absolutely ridiculously awesome. Just the knowledge that she's got about all the sports products. And as I said, um, Herbalife parties are pretty damn cool. That one on the right hand side was a couple of years ago at Spectacular when it was the circus theme. So I thought I'll dress up as the clown, which was, yeah, it was just yeah, it was amazing yeah. fun mixing with these people. Like they are, it's, it's hard to explain it. Like, you've got your family. This is your second family. And, and they really are your second family. It's that you just can't explain it. Like, it sounds corny, but these people know more about me than my family do, to be honest. And that's yeah. just what it's like. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, now, yeah. Um, I always like to get our special guests to share their most favourite Herbie recipe. 
And uh, you said yours is the custard tart shape. I've never tried this one. So it tell us to me. Awesome. It is absolutely like when I were 110 kilos, I didn't mind the old custard tart. So, and, I, and I was pretty much when I was younger, I used to have egg flips. And I'm sure everyone's had an egg flip. And it was just a, a take on the custard tart. So I thought, I'll, I'll see what I can make up here. So it's just one raw egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla essence, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, um, 200 ml of almond milk. Now you can either use the vanilla F1 or the sports F1. And I also chuck a little bit of protein in it, blend it up, chuck some ice in it, blend it up again. And it is absolutely beautiful. It just tastes like a custard tart. So even, even after you've poured it out into your glass, put a bit more nutmeg on the top of it so it even looks like a custard tart. And then shut your eyes and you honestly feel like you're eating one, but it is good for you. So have, a crack at it. have a crack at it, guys. Screenshot it and make one and let Nat know exactly what you think of it because it yeah, is really, yeah. really nice. Post it in our group. Post it in our uh, Fit Club group so uh, we can see all your shapes. That's Nat will awesome. make, make one for breakfast tomorrow and she'll post it for you. There you go. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'll do that. So um, you said you started on... Um, uh, we call it glow lean up here, but you guys all down south call it boom juice. Um, yep. So that's the the herby beverage, the aloe and the active fibre. And then you got started on this, the ultimate program. So um, yep. Yep. you know the products, so I'll let you go through them. You can do that. Yeah, the products are absolutely awesome. So you've got the Formula One, which comes now in five amazing flavours plus the select one. So you've got your chocolate, your vanilla, you've got your berry, you've got your um, choc mint and your cookies and cream, which I love the cookies and cream. So you just got to have these, they are beautiful. And they go with the multivitamins like, I always put it as shampoo and conditioner, put the two together, that's how your cellular nutrition works. Or I used to say, like your bourbon and coke, they both go together, exactly the same. So your multivitamins and your Formula One shape. It's absolute given. Jump, jump onto those ones. The cellulose gets rid of all your fluids, your unnecessary fluids. For the females, if you've got cellulite, the cellulose is absolute gold for you guys. So not many guys get cellulite, I don't think. I don't know a hell of a lot of them. But I know the females get it. They're not absolutely wrapped in it jump on the cellulose and it certainly helps you. And even if uh, in the days when you used to be able to get on a plane and go somewhere, you used to, a lot of people suffer from swollen ankles. So once again, the cellulose, I used to have that before I jump on a plane and I wouldn't get the swollen ankles anymore. So that was a great thing as well. Then you've got the active fibre. So keeps you regular. That's a good way to put it. And it is also a part of, what did you call it? The lean... We call it Glow Lean up here. The Glow Lean, yeah, right. It's got a few different names. It's also yeah. part of your Glow Lean, your active fibre. And it, like you do need fibre, 100% need fibre if you're losing weight, gaining muscle, just got to have your fibre. And this is this will give you your daily intake using that. Put it into your shake. It's a nice apple taste. So it's really good for you. You've got your NRG supplement, which is just absolutely amazing. So a lot of people... A lot of people um, are full of energy, like an energizer bunny. A lot of other people will just walk around like a sloth. This won't give you that big high. This will keep you a nice, happy medium so that you're not bouncing around, you're not mulling around. It'll just get you into that nice, happy space and just give you that energy that you do need. A lot of people, like I've given it to a lot of stay-at-home mums and they've just gone back to me and gone, what the hell have you given me? All of a sudden, I'm doing all my ironing, I'm vacuuming, I'm not sitting down watching Days of My Lives anymore, I'm going for a walk. And it just gives them that absolute burst of energy. Then you've got the Instal Herbal Beverage, which comes in three amazing flavours. Um, when I first started, I used to just have the lemon one. The cinnamon hadn't been out at that stage, so I was just having the lemon, which is the original and I'd be putting that into my, what we call the boom juice. And I'm back onto the original now, actually. So absolutely loving it. But it comes in the peach flavour and the cinnamon flavour, which I just keep alternating them all the time. Sometimes I'll blend the three of them together, which I think tastes amazing. Ooh, so, I like that. Yeah, blend the three of them together. It's pretty damn good. So that just gives you that nice little boost of energy as well. And yeah, really good for you. And that uh, aloe. Now we've got the amazing grape aloe. I cannot get enough of that. I think it's a, 
How long has it been out, do you reckon, Nat? I reckon probably five weeks. Yeah, about that now. Yeah. Yeah, I've got. Yeah. I've already gone through eight bottles of it in yeah. five weeks. <laughs> so actually, just before I jumped on this call tonight, I actually ordered two more bottles as well. So I just go through it now. I don't, don't even mix it with water. I just drink it straight out of it. Yeah. It is absolutely beautiful. Like in summertime, if you guys have got kids, in summertime you can just mix it like your kids have cordial. Give them that instead. Now, as I said earlier, I used to get a lot of reflux from doing various things, bending over mainly, but I don't get reflux anymore. I don't get indigestion. This thing's really helped me in that line. Plus, um, whatever results that you're going to get from using all the products, this will also help it by around 40%. So absolutely, it's an essential thing and it's just great for your gut health. A lot of people that I know have got, um, uh, what's it called, uh, IBS. So a lot of people will use that for IBS and it just makes their tummy feel a little bit better as well. So when they're bloated, just stops the bloating a little bit and just makes them feel a little bit more comfortable. And then you've got the, probiotic, uh, the probiotic complex as well. So we all need probiotics. This is a great one. So you don't have to store it in the fridge or anything like that, which you do with other probiotics. You can just sit it on your shelf and, or in your car if you're going away or whichever you need. But it's got to have the ultimate program. It's the Ferrari. If you want to go fast, jump onto the ultimate program. So it just gives you the best results in the quickest time. Perfect. Now you mentioned earlier the sports um, range that helped you on the bike ride. So what would you give us your favorite product out of the sports range? Um, 100% the, the Formula One. So absolutely love it. I'll alternate between that. So I've got that in the, look, I've got them all in the, oh, it's hard to say the favorite actually. Rebuild's pretty damn good too. I'd go out for a, um, a training session just to come home and have some rebuild because it tastes absolutely beautiful. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have done it, but mix the formula, the sports F1 with the rebuild and it is absolutely beautiful. Like that's what we're all doing on our bike ride. We'd have them mixed up together. So, and yeah, it just gives you the best of both worlds. So after your bike ride with the rebuild, pump it up. Uh, sorry, after any training with your rebuild, chuck that in there and it's going to feel amazing the next day. Perfect. Awesome. Well, that is the end of our slides. Thank you so much, Paul. Does anyone have any questions? Um, don't be scared. Ask the questions or if you are a bit um, shy, you can always uh, just send your question to your coach and we can always uh, forward that to Paul. But has anyone got any questions? Just oh, I, have, I have a question for Paul. Um, what yeah. do you think's been, so, so sorry, just, just, just to correct, um, give us a timeline. How long have you been on the products for, like in your program? I've uh, been on the program now for nearly three years. Okay. Uh, I lost my, lost my weight um, in the first 12 months. That's 25. So it, was, it was about seven months. And as I said, with zero exercise. So I lost all my weight and I've kept it off since. Like the kilograms, I've, I've changed body a little bit, like all my clothes. Just prior to starting, I actually went to America and I bought a heap of clothes yeah. when I were in America. I had to throw them all out. I didn't even get to wear half of them, unfortunately. But yeah. I've been on it and I've just kept the weight off. Like my body's changing a little bit. Like I'm doing a lot more exercise now. And even on the bike ride, I lost, uh, I put on, sorry, six kilos on the bike ride of muscle, but lost six kilos of fat. So that's just crazy. So yeah, so body's changing all the time, but just being able to keep the, keep the, the belly off and keep everything off like that. Just feel, as I said, don't always go by your weight, guys. Go by measurements and how you feel and how you look. Because if you're pumping out the exercising, your weight mightn't change a lot because you're putting on muscle. Awesome. So what, what I was going to ask you was, what would you say? Because, I mean, I know, I mean, I've lost nearly 61 kilos of body fat, right? I know. It's um, crazy. <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, Duncan is unreal, right? Over 100 kegs and, you know, it's just crazy. But... Look, the, the, the reality of what I'm what, what my question is, and I know where I had some struggles, but when you had struggles, how did you overcome them? So what would you say was one of some of your biggest struggles, you know, on your journey? And um, how did you go about dealing with that? Like, how did you go about some of my Some of my biggest struggles were, like, a lot of the people that I used to hang around, um, we would just, we'd go out and we'd drink beers or we'd drink bourbons. And the biggest struggle was just to say, 
not hanging around with you guys anymore because it was all about me. They didn't, they go, those guys didn't really give a crap if I was going to have a heart attack or if I was, if I, if I was struggling to do something, they didn't really care about that. They were just more concerned about, right, I'll catch up for a beer Friday night or Thursday night or Saturday night or all of them. And so I just had to make that decision and go, right, I will, I'm going to make that decision now and change my life before I do actually die from a heart attack. I had a, just had a granddaughter when I'd started on the products. So I wanted to see her grow up. You know, I want to be there for her 21st and all that sort of stuff. So I want to make sure that I'm there for that. So that was the biggest thing that I had to make the change on. So, right, up, this is about me now. This is what I'm going to do. Hey, that is powerful. Thank you so much. And it actually reminded me of something that I read once, and I've actually said this to a couple of my clients, and that is you're either going to be um, uh, like an example for your children or a warning. Oh, 100%. 100%. An example for your children or your family or whatever, or you're going to be a warning. You know, if something happens to you, then it'll be a warning to all your mates that, wow, you know, maybe we need to do something about it. Whereas, yeah. you know, if you're actually an example, you can be setting a good example. So good on you for stepping out of your um, comfort zone and not being like the rest of them and basically getting down to the pub and drinking with them and all that sort That's of stuff. That's right. And a lot of those guys now who I used to play, excuse me, I used to play cricket with and all that, I, I sort of catch up with them every now and again on Facebook or something. And these guys really do need help. And I, I were in exactly the same boat as they are. Like, I've got three of the guys that I used to play cricket with on products now, mm. purely from my results and them seeing my results. Like when I first started, I was telling them, telling them about it, but they weren't seeing the results in the first week or so, which is yeah. when I made that decision, right, I'm cutting you guys away. Yeah. But now they're seeing all the results all the time because I'm being consistent with it. They're actually starting to realise, well, shit, I might have a heart attack and Paul's still going to be around, yeah. so maybe I should yeah. follow in his footsteps. No, it's good. It's good. It's good also because there's people going to be jumping on and there is people that have jumped on already to look at our business opportunity, which is coming up next. And it's, it's important that people understand that sometimes when you initially reach out to people in regards to these, this, you know, these, these programs and stuff, they can quite often, people can be standoffish or they can just say, look, I'm not really interested. It doesn't mean that they're saying no to you. They're just saying no to, to the opportunity or to the, to, to getting well, you know, having better health and better wellness or whatever. So, you know, it, it's not, um, you know, it's not a, like a harsh criticism of, of you. They're not having to go at you personally. They're just, they're just, they're not ready. You know, you were ready to get started, right? So, you know, yeah. when, when you talk about the, the, the business side of it, you know, people, people need to understand that it's okay. You know, like um, you don't go into the first shoe shop and just buy the first shoes that you see on the shelf. You, you, you're you allowed to look around at other shoe shops and buy shoes off, 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 you know, from another shop. So we're kind of like the same thing. You know, people, you know, people don't have to go in there and, um, you know, buy from us. We know we're the number one nutrition company on the planet. So, you know, we just got to back ourselves and continue to get our own results, which, you know, again, like congratulations to you, mate. Fantastic results. Yeah, yeah think, think, you just got to be consistent, guys. And then then who, the people that you're talking to will see that you're consistent. They'll know that you are absolutely fair income about it. They'll see you getting the results and then, then they'll jump on. But if they see you jump onto it and then... A week later, they see you down the pub eating pizza and drinking beers all night, and they see you doing that every week. They're going to go, yeah, I told you it wasn't going to work. But if they see you being consistent, seeing you getting the results, seeing you keeping the results off, bang, they'll be there. I've got people who have contacted me after three years. I've spoken to them. They weren't interested. Then you just be yourself. Oh, shoot them a message every now and again. How you going? How you going? Just saying g'day. Not even talking about Herbalife. But they, they're following you on Facebook secretly in the background all of a sudden their no becomes uh, well geez maybe i do need to have a look at it and i'll shoot you a message absolutely yeah. that's awesome and then the other thing i was going to add to was you know um what you just said then that's so powerful you know um i say to people all the time especially when they're getting started and they've got a kind of big journey they're ahead of them you know what i mean i kind of say to them look up until this point and you would understand this you've had more good and more bad days than good right yep. Just, just, you know, instead of making it so hard for people, I just had to listen, just flip the switch. Like Rich literally have more good days than bad initially. You know, eventually you'll feel so bloody good that you won't care so much about like going down every, four, you know, Friday to, to the pub or whatever. You know, like there's nothing wrong with enjoying that lifestyle, but, you know, you just have more good days than bad. That's all it is basically. So. 100%. And the, and the other difference is you're not in this alone. Like a lot of people try to lose a bit of weight and that's from purchasing something at a shop. They get it. 
then it just sits on their shelf and no one, the girl who sold them that product at the shop doesn't really give a crap if you lose weight or not. So you, you're on that journey of learning if you stop it, it's sort of bad luck. But with this, you are going to get that much support and coaching and help from people that you don't even know that are probably may never even meet. They'll be jumping onto the, the calls and your Facebook and your challenges and they'll be saying how amazing you're doing so and helping you out. So the support you're going to get through this company is just phenomenal. Yeah. Um, can I just ask one question, Paul? Um, yeah. When you first got started, because we've got a lot of first time new people on the call tonight, did you go through um, a detox kind of phase? Because everyone's different. Some people do, some people don't. So, um, and that's, yes. that's an important thing to be aware of because, you know, it, 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 like your coaches will keep in contact with you, but everyone goes through a detox different. Yeah, and my coach, Michelle, like when I first started, I was health conscious and I was doing lots of walking and I'd be calling her while I'm walking saying, Michelle, what's, what the hell's wrong with me? All I'm doing is going to the toilet. I've get, had a headache the last couple of days and my gut feels a little bit ordinary. And she's just going, yes, you're beauty. And I've gone, what the hell is wrong with you? She's gone, it's working. It's your detox. It's all kicking in. Should only last, you know, three or four days. Some people vary, but she was right. All of a sudden, and now I do exactly the same. Someone will ring me up and go, what am I doing wrong? And I'll say, well, are you having it with milk? And they go, no. I'm going, okay, perfect. What's wrong with you? They'll tell me. I'll say, fantastic, it's working. So <laughs> if, you, if you have just started on it, you're feeling a bit queasy in the stomach, that's your body going, what the hell is he doing to me? Where's my pie? Where's my bourbon? Where's my beer? Where's my pizza? And it's just sort of putting, up, putting its back up a little bit for a couple of days. And then all of a sudden, the goodness gets in and everything starts to become reality again and cleaning out for you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for sharing that because that's a big one. People uh, worry uh, when they go through that detox, but you're right. It's it's exciting when you go through that because on well, the other people, side, people get you feel great. as well. So you can't say, right, as soon as you start the products, you're going to feel like this. This is going to happen to you because yeah. everyone's different. So a lot of people detox in different ways, but yeah, you're going to detox in some way or another. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much, Paul, for being our guest tonight. Um, I know you've inspired a lot of people and um, it's good to get a bloke's take on um, the programs and the products because our last two calls we've had ladies. So yep. thank you very much for being our first uh, fella to share with us and um, how you've got your results and incredible ride that you do, how it's helped you through that as well. So Absolute thank, pleasure, thank Matt you and, you. and Ralph. Thank you very much for having me on. And look, I hope you guys that have just started, stick with it, jump on the program, listen to your coach. They know 100% what they're talking about. And their only goal is to make sure that you get results. That's all they care about, getting your results. So stick with it, guys. And I look forward to hearing all your stories down the track. Awesome. Thanks, Thank, you. Cool. Good on you. Thank you. Thank you very much. much. Any questions before you hop, before, uh, well, you're welcome to stay on, Paul, for the uh, open house, if you like, mate. You're more than welcome to. But um, is there anyone else that has any questions that want to unmute themselves and ask? Please feel free to. If you think of something down the track, shoot it through to Nat, and Nat can shoot it through to me anyway. Okay. Perfect. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just set up now. Uh, I know Nat's got to hop off to jump on her phone instead and sort her kids out. But uh, yeah, Paul, are you going to stay on or are you going to, you, got, you, got to, you got to head off? Yeah, I'll just appear for two minutes and jump back on again as well. Sounds fantastic to me. Guys, awesome. um, everybody you. else, if you want to go for a quick wee break or whatever, because this is going to go for about 45 minutes to 50 minutes, just go quickly now. Um, I can see on the screen... Galaxy S8, iPhone, uh, if Zoe, Abby, if you can, and Jacob, you can turn your cameras on. That would be amazing because I'd love to see who I'm speaking to, um, especially the new people. So Zoe, Jacob, um, and like I said, I don't know who iPhone is. I'm not sure who Galaxy S8 is. <laughs> but um, jump on for me, guys. Get, just hit your camera, which says start video, I think it is. Yep, I can see you, Jacob. Well done, mate. Um, and I'm just going to share my screen. Um,